Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to use the tracing paper feature to quickly design a part from a smartphone photo. This feature is ideal for low tolerance applications or as a design starting point. In this example, someone discovered a leak on the floor below a machine. They removed the bolts to expose the sealing gasket, which they determined to be defective. Normally, we'd use a caliper to carefully measure all of the sizes and positions of each feature. Since this is a rubber gasket and we're in need of a quick fix, the eMachine Shop tracing feature was a perfect solution. First, we'll take a photo using a smartphone. Hold the phone parallel to the part with the lens centered and take a photo. Verify the picture is clear. Next, measure the part and write down the overall size. Upload the picture from the smartphone to a PC. Open the uploaded picture. Size the photo to fill most of the screen. Let's choose Edit, Preferences, General, Tracing Paper. This turns on the feature, making both eMachine Shop and the image visible at the same time. Let's draw and resize circles to match the image. Click the Circle tool. Start the circle in the center of the gasket. And end the circle at the outside of the gasket. Then draw a circle for one of the bolt holes. Click the Repeat button, and click the Nudge Right button 10 times for 11 total circles. Drag the circles into position over their bolt holes. Let's click the Circle tool to draw a circle for the inside diameter of the gasket, snapped to the center of the outside diameter. Now let's turn off the tracing feature. Choose Edit, Preferences, General, and uncheck Tracing Paper. Click OK. Next, we need to set the overall size to match the dimensions measured earlier. Choose Edit, Select All. Drag the corner handles to resize to the noted size. and then click on the outer contour. Let's set the Z value to 0.06 inches. This is the desired thickness of the gasket. Click the Pyramid button for the 3D view to verify the shape of the part. Finally, choose Job, Material, and select Rubber as the material. Remember to use the tracing paper feature whenever you have a low tolerance project or need to get a design started. Thanks for watching and be sure to see our other videos for more useful tips. Bye for now.